Do Max get viruses? Sort of. And I'm going to tell you the one golden rule to protect yourself. Most of what people think is viruses is actually like website spam. You go to some website and it says, you got a virus, call this number. Don't do it. It's a trap and they just want your money. Don't install it. Don't do it. Don't do it. The other kind of virus is the Mac cleaning apps. You install this thing that, that tells you it's gonna like clean up your Mac and make everything better, but all you get is a bunch of like pop-ups and annoying like things that open and try to scan your computer and charge you money. Don't do it, don't install those either. Actual viruses are usually quite rare and they're only installed in Word or Excel documents and they actually don't spread into your Mac. So here's the one golden rule to protect yourself. The only way that anything bad ever gets installed inside your Mac is if you type in your password for the Mac. This is the one that you use to log into your computer. That's like unlocking your door and inviting the vampires into your house. So to protect yourself from viruses, don't install any Mac cleaner apps. Don't believe these website pop-ups that say that you have a virus and only type in your password when you're installing something that you know that you actually need from a place that you trust. Boom, Mac epiphany. You ready for this? Are you ready for this shit? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want someone awesome and totally not condescending to come to you and take all of your technology challenges off your mind, head to macandhome.com because you've got way better things to do with your time. Like, for example, clicking subscribe.